Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Chris here, and I just figured out the next step for the Easter egg. So there's gonna be signs up here, um, in the caves and stuff that you need to hit, Rick Toffin. I just figured it out, and there's three signs out of like five or six that you have to hit. They're just trial and error, so just pick which ones that you think are right. If you get them right, then you'll see a red glowing, like a blue glowing ball, and you will need Voltray for this. So make sure you have that perk. So the first one right here was Ground Bitter Piss. They're different every game, so don't try to do the ones I do. Or if you if you get lucky, they might be, but most likely they're not. They're going to be different every single game. So now I'm going to go to the L. I, I just think of it like the first letter of the name. So I just, you just got to make your way around it. And it's going to be really weird. You got to be really fast on this part, like after you finish everything. Actually, I missed the sign over here. Let's go back and hit it. So this is my second sign. There's three. Remember, there's three signs. So my last sign's right here, and after the last sign, get ready, because you need to start running. Or first, it's going to be right in front of you right here. So you just want to run into them, and then you're going to see them through the walls and stuff. So you got to keep on running, you're running, and just run right through them as fast as you can, because it's a timed thing. Not like throughout the whole thing, but each ball is like has like maybe 10, 15 seconds, and once you don't get it, you have to restart everything, you have to hit all the signs again. So me, if you get the same one as me, just follow the route I do. I just go right here, um, it took me like maybe 20 tries for this because I just had to know which ones are go going. After this one, th it changes this one, like that's why I was checking if it was on the ground. Remember last time, I thought it was on the ground because usually it was going to be in the same spot again, but this time it was in a different spot. I was like, what? So it just messed me all up. And this one, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it. It took quite long for this one, but it let me get it. And then after this one, it goes straight to the guillotine, and that's where you just have to get it. And that's where this part finishes. And you gotta do one little part after this. Not really much. But Rick Toffin does start talking. That looks like kind of like a head to me. Like as if it's a head. But right here once once the arms of like the energy gets on zombies. You have to kill them. Rick Toffin will say to kill them and give them the energy. So you gotta keep on doing that. It takes about like four or five, six zombies. Nothing much. But on the next clip here. I'm gonna show you whenever it's already done. So right here, it's already done. I just finished it right now. He starts talking. And he starts saying that I need to turn on the switch. And I think I've seen the switch in the mansion. So maybe that's where it's going to be. I kind of heard some people talking about that too. So I'm not really sure. I'll go check that out right now. It's going to be the next part for the Easter egg. So hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe for the whole Easter egg once I'm done. I'm making a compilation video. Oh, and after, this, after he talks about the switch, you will need a time bomb. I'm not sure if I did this right. He said you need to place a time bomb near the guillotine. I don't know if you're not, I don't know if you're supposed to do it as soon as he says it, like right away, or after you get the switch and turn it on. I'm not really sure. I did it right away. He didn't say nothing, but I'm not really um, sure about that. So if I just waste it, I can just get a max ammo. I can get it right back, and I can do it after the switch. I'll let y'all know whenever I do it. So I hope y'all like the video. Subscribe, and I'm out.